The women's basketball team just ended their postseason run last week. The Volant's Megan Card looks at both men's and women's basketball highlights. The craze surrounding March Madness may be keeping most people still in basketball mode, but at USD, the run has ended for both the men's and women's team. For the men, it was a matter of first. A first-year coach in Craig Smith. The first time the men's team won a game in the Summit League tournament. First team honors for senior Tyler Larson, who ranked 40th in the nation for his double-doubles. The Coyotes finished their regular season with a 17-16 record. The final game came with a crushing win over South Dakota State with a final score of 80-64. Brandon Boss scored a career-high 29 points against Fort Wayne in the quarterfinal game of the Summit League tournament to send the men to the semis. But it was the Jackrabbits who stopped the Coyotes in their tracks. South Dakota State made 11 of 26 from beyond the arc and 21 of 30 from the charity stripe to take the win 78-65. to And that was the end of the Coyotes postseason run. For the women, it came down to the position of senior Nicole Seacamp's feet in the second round of the WNIT. The Coyotes finished as regular season champions in the Summit League, but could not defend the title they claimed the year before. It was the Jackrabbits again who put down the Coyotes with a 72-57 win in the championship final. Even in defeat, it was Seacamp who was selected as tournament MVP for the second time. She averaged 23 points five assists, and two steals in three tournament games. A loss to the Jackrabbits did not stop the Kyles from more postseason play. The women rallied in the Women's National Invitation Tournament to win their first round match against Creighton in the Dakota Dome. But it was Northern Colorado that barely squeezed out the win against the women in the second round and ended the Coyotes' season. The difference? A point, with the final score being 59-58 to after a last second shot by Nicole Seacamp was ruled inside the three-point line. For the Volant, I'm Megan Card, and that was a Kyle basketball season roundup.